Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Channel Audio Group Podcast. I think we got a special one here for you today. Um, this is going to be all-encompassing and perhaps one of the more important ones we do. It's going to be a crash course for event planners, so buckle up and let's take a ride through this course. Hopefully there is no crash. I'm your captain speaking, and let's begin. So for most event planners, um, sound and video are an essential part of every project, of course. And your client's needs can vary from the very simple right through to the hugely extravagant, okay? So either way, you will need a basic understanding of all the terminology involved with AV. You may not need to be an expert, no one's asking that, but being able to work with your AV team and keep up with the jargon is a must, guys. We have put together a crash course here on AV to help you. So let's just start off, you know, what is an AV, yada, yada. AV stands for audiovisual. And it is an abbreviation you will hear a lot as an event planner, so, you know, tune in. Strictly speaking, it should be AVL because lighting is often included with audio and visual, especially for the larger scale events, right? So these are the three components that will do the most things for your event, and they will set the environment or the mood for your client and, and exactly what they're looking for. So many years ago, AV was synonymous with PowerPoint presentations or perhaps, you know, an old school mirror ball. Now it is all about creating a completely immersive environment, which will make any event unforgettable. This has been made possible by combining lighting, audio, and visual components with new digital technologies, which can take an event to a whole new level. So exactly why do I need to hire an AV partner? Ho <laughs> let me tell you. Hiring an AV partner is an essential part of creating a magical event. Event planners usually are not AV experts to leveraging the vast amount of knowledge of electronics and engineering that an AV partner has is vital for ensuring everything is installed correctly and safely, safety first. For example, event rigging is a dangerous occupation. So any crew member that work in this area have to have a special certification in order to operate the equipment. As an event planner, you simply don't have the time, resources, or skills to manage all those things. Now, as well as providing technical expertise, an AV partner can help in other things. Maybe, you know, adding some creative, imaginative, or some even artistic design to your project to make sure your event stands out. Any event planner worth their salt will want to involve an AV professional from the outset. A good AV partner can even give advice and the best venue to meet your vision for your project. All right, so scooting along here, guys. When exactly should I bring the AV partner on board? Whew, crucial. The role of an event planner is strategy and management. So you want to be giving any presentations, entertaining the guests, or providing catering services. You'll be making sure that events run smoothly. The same goes for AV needs. The size of the AV team will ultimately depend on the individual project, but the earlier you hire them, the more effective they can be in designing your event and giving your audience an amazing, hold up, unforgettable experience. This is the case whether your audience is just 50 people, you know, some Joe Schmoes, or you got a huge crowd with 50,000 or more. So another thing that you're going to want to do is kind of get to know your AV team. Um, you know, not in that way, but, you know, professionally, of course. So the number of team members can be as large or as small as you wish, depending on the needs of your individual project. Various roles within the team will provide different types of help when it comes to the planning and production of your event. You know, some commonalities, you might want to learn their name or the roles of the AV partners as they are getting to work and their hours are long and it's your event. It's important to make them feel appreciated, a friendly hello, or, you know, maybe some food or drink will go a long way towards this. You know, it might be something you want to work out with them on future projects. So getting to know them better is an essential part of growing your team and your network as well. So making sense of quotes and fees can be difficult and intimidating, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Make sure that you read between the lines when looking at quotes. As an event planner, you are probably used to doing this for most contracts, so be sure to apply this to AV as well. Even if you know a fair amount about AV equipment, sorting through quotes and contracts can be confusing. Be aware that you may not actually need everything quoted, so you can ask to eliminate these or negotiate the price down. You will need to stay vigilant to ensure that your AV partner keeps things within budget, so be sure to keep asking questions and don't agree to any quote that you are not completely happy with, and the terms and the content and cost. 
Well, alrighty, folks, it looks like we just touched down and reached our destination. That'll be it for today's podcast on the crash course for event planners. There was some turbulence along the way, but we made it through, and I think you might have learned something valuable. Until next time, folks, thanks.